Spaghetti! Spaghetti sauce! Meatballs! I hate people that waste food. Why do you have to waste food on TikTok? No thanks! It's like the more food you waste, the more views it gets. Why? Idiot! It's not funny. You're just being completely wasteful. We all know that there are tons of people who spend their entire lives dreaming of becoming famous. It sometimes even gets to the point where views and follows become an addiction that fuels the drive to keep making content. A lot of these people fall into this problem because they want their talents and passions to be admired and appreciated. Whether they're an aspiring pop star or a super talented artist or just a content creator, millions of people constantly strive to just have that one video go viral, which would make them an overnight sensation. But not every one of these people are actually talented. In fact, there are so many wannabe influencers who do some of the most outrageous stuff just to get attention, from licking toilet seats to faking entire diseases. But one of the most popular methods used by such people is wasting food. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys two content creators who manage to make some of the most obnoxious, blood-boiling content that I have ever seen. Literally. Early. The trend of wasting food was made big by a TikToker called Wasil, who would create content about how much he loved food. Except most people express their love for food by making videos documenting what they eat in a day or by showing themselves cooking mouthwatering meals. Wasil, on the other hand, expressed his love by making content like this. I don't even get what he's trying to do. However, Wasil is really the first person to gain attention for wasting food, but there is another TikToker who has taken this trend to a whole nother level, and that is Topper Guild. Here is just one example of the videos that Topper Guild has made. <laughs> Topper Guild not only waste food, but also a huge amount of money. I mean, you guys can all see that there is a brand new looking iPhone just sitting on his kitchen counter that he didn't think for one second to maybe move it before it got completely drenched in soy sauce. The craziest part about this though, to me, is that sometimes he actually tries to turn his videos into some sort of attempt at comedy, but like, I can't imagine how anyone would find this funny. Seriously though, imagine living in poverty and you go into your local Costco to try and find something super cheap so that you can have something to eat for the day. And then you see this guy in another aisle with a cart that is literally just full of milk, soy sauce, and whatever else. Now imagine going home and logging into TikTok to try and escape from reality. And then this same guy comes up on your For You page flooding his entire kitchen with an amount of food that could feed an entire town. But he doesn't even take more than one bite. The worst part about this though is that somehow Topper Guild has not one, not two, but 30 million people who have for some reason found his content entertaining enough to follow him. On top of making super cringe content and wasting an extraordinary amount of food, Topper is also known for basically being one of the biggest cloud chasers on TikTok. And he does this by directly stealing content from other creators. I mean, he literally got the idea of wasting food from Wasil, who I mentioned earlier, and to make matters worse, you can tell completely that he got the idea from Wassel because he makes fun out of his accent. Pepe! Perfect. However, this is where things start to take an interesting turn. As recently, Topper has made a dramatic shift in his content that has shocked a ton of people. But let's be honest, some people on the internet are extremely gullible, and I think Topper knows that. Basically, for some context, around a year ago, Wasil decided to make a big change to the kind of content he was making. If you scroll down to the bottom of his account, you'll see the usual over-the-top videos of him wasting ingredients to make a 15-second video. However, if you scroll up to the top of his page, you'll see his most recent videos are of him trying out viral TikTok hacks and overall content that is slightly less boring, but a whole lot less wasteful and annoying. But what prompted Wasil to make this sudden change? Well, he basically got an overwhelming amount of hate. The backlash got so bad that he made an apology video explaining that because he now has a large following, he no longer wants to make content that could spread a harmful message. But now I realize that I have a very big audience and anything that I can record on camera can have consequences as far as uh 
the messaging that I'm putting out there. And I just wanna say that this video is in no way an excuse for any of my actions that I've put out. This is simply to say that I was wrong and that I'm sorry. I mean, it's cool that he became self-aware and apologized for his actions or whatever, but like at the same time, the only reason he got his platform in the first place was because he took advantage of people online who somehow found his content entertaining. So you might be wondering what this has to do with Topper Guild. Well, as I mentioned before, Topper doesn't seem to have a single creative or original bone in his body. And when he saw that his biggest inspiration had switched things up, Topper decided to do the same. A TikToker called Mila went viral for making videos in response to Topper in which he would show a clip of Topper making his usual food wasting content and then Milad would show himself buying a ton of food. But instead of being a complete idiot, he would hand out his meals for free to local homeless people. Just take a look. Turkey such a great way to make content that is both engaging and also super beneficial to the lives of others. It also pulls in millions of views, which is exactly why Topper Guild decided to copy Milad's content as soon as he saw how popular it was getting. And when I say copying, I don't just mean he took the concept of handing out food to homeless people. I mean, he literally copies pretty much every single scene and uses the exact same audio. <laughs> When people watched Topper's new video, they were literally shocked, and he received a ton of praise in his comments by verified creators for finally making a change. One creator wrote, thanks for being you bro, maybe these other creators can take notes. And another user put, finally, you learned. It's great that he's doing something good for other people, even if he does it while a man stands behind him recording people that probably don't want to be filmed, but saying that he's learned his lesson or that he's changed is a bit of a reach. And I'm so happy that I'm not the only one that noticed how how obvious it was that Topper had seen his views going down while Milad's were going up and decided to piggyback off of his content to keep himself somehow relevant. Bro, this makes more views. Change because he understood it's not trending anymore and people are hating on him and he's getting no views. Some people have made the argument that even if Topper is just making the videos because they get him more views, at least he's making a positive impact on people's lives. And while I agree that it's a much better decision to feed the homeless than to cover your kitchen floor and cereal, I don't think Topper should be redeemed from his past just because he gave out a couple of sandwiches. There are thousands of charities that provide free meals for homeless people every single day that don't need to carry around cameras to film their interactions to make themselves look good online. What do you guys think? Do you feel like Topper has changed or is he just another TikTok clout chaser? Let me know and I'll see y'all in my next video.